Welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. Once again, my name is Josh, and this is the beginning of our 2024 season. So excited for this video and what we're going to cover. Guys, we are going to discuss uh, our journey that's in front of us to an epic adventure that we have planned for this fall and what we got to do to get there. We're also going to cover where we've been for the last three or four months and why the end of 2023 pretty much kicked our ass. Um, and if I remember correctly, I did promise I was going to give away an engine oil cooler, which is also going to happen at some point during this episode. So seriously, guys, we have a lot to discuss. We have a lot to cover and we have a huge year in front of us. So stick around because I promise you're going to enjoy this. All right, guys, so first things first, I want to talk about what happened at the end of 2023 and what has kept us from uploading videos for the last three or four months or so. Um, I do want to apologize to those who look forward to our uh, new weekly releases. Um, I know it's been a couple of months. Here's what happened. When we got back from our adventure in Colorado, uh, up Imogen Pass, Ofer Pass, Engineer Pass, and attempting... Um, to make it as close to Denver as we can on the Continental Divide, we had an extreme mechanical catastrophe on the JK. Um, shortly after we got back, um, I was on my way to work on a rainy, cold Monday morning, and the um, pinion bearing on the rear end decided to let go. At that moment, at about 70 miles an hour, completely decimated the drive line on the Rubicon. And yeah, um, thanks to Mopar's production strike last year and uh, parts availability pretty much being non-existent, um, it took forever to get the Jeep rebuilt and back on the road. I still got a couple of issues that I got to work through. I, I've got a squeak or something somewhere that I got to try to find, but the good news is that she is back on the road. In addition, as a during about that same time, we did have a couple of deaths in our family, um, which we've been mourning that and we've been dealing with um, with those issues. So I just wanted to let you know that we have not forgotten about you guys. Um, I sincerely appreciate my fans and know that during the end of 2023, we hit 10 thousand subscribers guys that is so cool i cannot believe that there is that much support for this channel so thank you so much um by the end of this year uh with what i have planned for you and what i have planned for this fall um i have a feeling we're going to be pushing maybe that hundred thousand subscriber mark by the end of the year that would actually be the most epic thing that happens truthfully but that's for the future um, we will let the year play out as the year plays out. So, like I said, I just wanted to apologize for uh, the lack in videos for the last few weeks, but we are back on track, and this should be the beginning of at least eight that I've made. So for at least the next two months, we're going to have one every single week. So let's talk about what videos are coming and what we have in store for 2024. All right, guys, so for 2024, we've got two rigs that we need to get built and prepped for one of the most epic adventures that we have ever undertaken ourselves, and we have less than six months to get them ready to go. So we're all very familiar with my JK. We've got a lot of work we got to do to this. Um, I'm going to be scouting for uh, probably a rooftop tent. I want to plan on building out uh, the rear with a slide out for the fridge and a little built-in kitchen so that uh, camp is a little bit easier for us. Um, I'm looking for an awning and uh, an onboard uh, pressurized water system, which I have a reason for that. That's coming up in an upcoming video here in just a couple weeks as well. In addition, if you remember, last year um, we were so excited um, to have joined us. Uh, a friend of mine, his name is Stevens. Uh, he runs the channel Brother by Nature. And he gave away his 2020 JL, which was already set and ready for overlanding. He wanted something new. And so... For our second rig, now that that one is gone, he has a brand new 
2024 Mojave Edition JT Gladiator. And she's completely stocked. So we have a blank slate that we've got to get completely built up and ready to go. Also with a rooftop tent, um, which he has picked out, um, lift, tires, uh, lights, and all kinds of equipment and ready to go for this epic adventure. So we're going to be featuring both Jeeps uh, periodically on both my channel and his channel. Again, that's Brother by Nature. I'll put a link in the description down below so that you can check out his channel as well. And hopefully six months is going to be enough time for us to get everything that we're looking to get done before this epic adventure. So in addition to getting both rigs ready to go for this adventure, we also have planned multiple different giveaways for our subscribers, especially since we hit 10,000 subscribers. I want to show my appreciation to you by giving away some really cool Jeep products and accessories along the way. Starting with, I know we have mentioned we're going to give this away. So do we want to find out who won the all aluminum oil cooler? <laughs> We're going to have to keep watching because I'm not quite ready to give that away just yet. Here's a couple of things we do have coming up. Uh, immediately, we got a couple of accessories um, that we need to put on the JT. Um, and I got to test out uh, a onboard instant hot water system, um, which I want to see if it's going to work to set up a shower for overlanding. Um, that's actually a pretty cool product. You're going to want to check that out. So stay tuned uh, for that future video as well. In addition, there is going to be some content that we are going to upload that is going to be for subscribers only, especially since we're up over 10,000 subscribers. I figured I'd give you guys something to look forward to, um, specifically just for you. So Keep that in mind. Those videos will probably be uploaded midweek, whereas the main videos would be uploaded during the weekend. Not going to reveal what they are just yet, but trust me, you're going to want to look out for those. Speaking of which, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss those opportunities as well. Oh, there you are. Were you scared in the Jeep all by yourself? I knew I left something behind, although I swear, if my head wasn't attached to my shoulders, I probably would lose that too, but I could never misplace the Mountain Dew, because I'll tell you what, one way or another, we've all got to get our energy every day, right? Oh God, that's good. Oh, yeah. Whew. So back to the topic on hand. I had mentioned that I'm going to want your input. There are definitely a lot of different directions that we can go with a JK or with a JT when it comes to setting it up for an epic overlanding event. So when it comes to the products that we're going to be choosing, um, I'm going to, from time to time, have polls pop up. So if you're subscribed to the channel on your newsfeed, you're going to see little comments from me that will pop up with polls uh, and a selection of what you would choose. So I want your opinion. So don't forget to participate. Answer uh, which product you would choose and then put in the comments down below why that's the product that you would choose. And it might help us determine which direction we want to go and feature the products that you guys actually want to see. Now, when I'm talking about products for this overlanding adventure, I'm talking about um, when we make our selection for a rooftop tent, for an awning, for an onboard power bank, a new fridge, our pressurized water system, um, and whether or not we do it completely custom or we do out of the box. So look for those polls and don't forget to subscribe so that you will see them and you can answer and have input as to what direction we go. All right, so are you ready to find out who won the oil cooler? All right, we'll stick around just a couple more minutes. We're almost there. So there's one last thing that I want to cover before we give away the engine oil cooler. And that is that jeepingforbeginners.com also had some issues at the end of 2023. Got into a little bit of a spiff and an argument with the domain um, and with the host uh, for the website builder. And I have since had that transferred over. And the website is once again back up, completely redesigned and ready for the 2024 schedule. This year, guys, we plan on having classes for off-roading for beginners as well as overlanding for beginners every weekend all summer long. So be sure to check that out. And if it's something that you want to join, if you happen to be in the tri-state area, anywhere near Clark County, Nevada, um, Utah, Southern California, or whatnot, you would like to join us and learn how to use your rig, 
then definitely be sure to check out jeepingforbeginners.com. All right, so are you ready for an epic 2024? We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of things to accomplish, and we have a very short period of time in order to get it done. So I hope that you're on board and you're along for the journey and you're willing to put your input in because I'm definitely going to want your opinions. So in the meantime, let's give away this engine oil cooler, shall we? So like I mentioned in the video, this comes complete with all the gaskets that you need, your intake gaskets, as well as both sensors, and it is ready to go, and it is a once and done replacement. So once this is replaced, you shouldn't have that engine oil cooler leak any longer. So what I did was I put everybody's name who commented on that video into a hat, um, individual pieces of paper, and I had my son actually draw the name out. This is the name that he drew. So, hopefully, you're a subscriber and you're watching this video uh, because the winner of the engine oil cooler is going to be... All right, was that enough suspense buildup? All right, fine. Here we go. Robert Maxwell 4056. So Robert Maxwell 4056. Congratulations. You are the winner of the engine oil cooler. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to send me an email at yasmarproductions at gmail.com um, letting me know that you saw in the video that you were the winner and I'm going to need your pedigree information so I can get this shipped out to you. So um, I look forward to hearing from you, Robert. So again, Robert Maxwell, 4056. Um, congratulations. You are the winner. And if I don't hear from you uh, at yasmarproductions at gmail.com uh, within the next couple of weeks, we'll have to draw another name. So uh, in the meantime, congratulations. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I wanted to cover these topics. I wanted to get you up to speed, and I wanted you to um, to basically buy in and be on board for an epic 2024. So, are you ready? Let's get this thing started. In the meantime, once again, my name is Josh, and this is Jeeping for Beginners. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so that you don't miss an opportunity for a giveaway or to express your opinion. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, happy Jeeping, and we will see you next time. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. The giveaways for 2024 are going to be teased in subscriber-only videos, which means you're going to have to subscribe to the channel in order to get the opportunity to win some cool Jeep stuff. So what are you waiting for? The button's right there. Go ahead. Subscribe. Do it. Do it. Do it.